Hello everyone, my name is Shamira aka Mimi. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. So you guys, I'm coming to you today with the reaction pick a card and this is going to be a general message, okay? And also how you guys can, you know, combat whatever you guys are going through, okay? It's going to basically be some sort, of, some sort of advice, okay? Yes, I was struggling. So, you guys, I will have a channel song for each pile because I was listening to uh, Chris Brown's Breezy album, okay? We're definitely going to grab a song from that. It was so many different songs I could not choose, but I think I made my final decision, okay? So, um, yeah, you guys, visit the description box below. She's never out of the pile or the channel song of the pile that is calling out to you the most. And also, you guys, before I start... I do have uh, personal readings open, okay? So please visit the description box below and you guys will get all the information on how to book, okay? A big old explanation. And I do do dream interpretations. So yeah, you guys, let's get started, okay? Let's get started. Let's get started with Power One. So Power One, the song that I got for you was uh, Closure by Chris Brown featuring her. Um, while I was shuffling and also while I was listening to that song, I'm feeling like you guys, Pow One, um, you guys are being asked to uh, cut ties with people right now, to cut off sometimes uh, communication with people who are distracting you. You guys know exactly who are uh, distracting you, okay? So you guys got Pisces and Leo. So you guys could uh, have... Uh, a lot of Leo or Pisces placements in your chart, okay? I'm seeing Leo, Sun, Pisces, Moon, okay? So, I'm seeing that you guys have a really, really big heart. Okay, you guys definitely love to give to others. But right now, you guys are facing a lot of uh, things in your... I'm, I'm taking any reversals today. I'm going to show you guys the cards. You guys may be facing a lot of... Uh, I will say towers at the moment. Some of you guys could be going through a uh, Saturn return, okay? You guys love to give and help other people, but I'm seeing that when it comes time for people to give back to you when you're, you're in need, uh, for some reason, um, they're nowhere to be found. So you guys are kind of blocking people, uh, turning away from people left and right because you guys truly see who they are, okay? You truly see people for who and what they are. Uh, bring to your life, okay? And it's not a lot. They don't really bring a lot to your life right now. I feel like some people could could have definitely been blocking you. Yeah, because I got the Nine of Wands, okay? The Nine of Wands and also uh, the Ace of Wands, okay? They definitely could have been blocking your creativity. I'm getting that with this Pisces card, okay? Yeah, maybe um, not supporting you like uh, you feel like they should. I'm seeing a lot of lack of support around you. It doesn't necessarily um, have to be family and friends. And you guys got the more, it's too many cards, but you guys got the morning reverse. Yeah, you guys are like, I still see people for who they are. Um, so, you know, however they thought they was coming off to me, I finally see them, okay? That's not how I see them anymore. Some of you guys are definitely taking off the rose-colored glasses when it comes to certain people and their behavior. Maybe um, you guys are... Something flipped over. Yeah, that's two cards that flipped. Three cards that flipped over. Yeah, you guys got the seven of wands. Yeah, when you guys are going through something and when you guys need help with something particular when it comes to uh, something that you guys love to do, you find that not a lot of people are very supportive with you. They're not supportive of your dreams because the Ace of Wands could also be, uh, yeah, it's definitely that inspiration, okay? Great ideas, things that you want to, you guys want to delve into and get into, okay? I feel like you guys are feeling a lack of motivation because, or a lack of inspiration because you guys aren't getting support like you guys feel like you should, okay? You feel like every single time you try to do something great, uh, maybe some of you guys are met with a lot of people hating on you, you know? A lot of unnecessary blockages um, in your creativity, okay? You guys also got the Three of Cups. Yeah. You're always giving to other people, always giving, giving, giving. But when it comes time to uh, receive from other people, they're nowhere to be found. Or they're always making up some excuse why they can't come through um, with you or for you. Okay, you guys also got the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. 
You may get a lot of people around you trying to control uh, your ideas, okay? Try to control what you guys do. Um, and when you guys don't do it, you guys do things your way. They like to hold back their, their uh, I would say, their support for you, okay? I'm getting that you guys are surrounded by a lot of people who don't like to celebrate you. They don't like to celebrate your wins. So you guys may need to be called, you guys are being called to, uh, I would say, pull back your energy from those people, okay? Stop telling people um, your wins, about your wins. Stop telling people about the great things that are going on in your life because I feel like a lot of people like to hate on you. Um, maybe block things for you, okay? I'm seeing a lot of block. I keep hearing blockages. Blocking your creative ideas by putting uh, doubt in, in your mind, okay? Putting fear and doubt in your heart, okay? Determined to just sabotage you, okay? Because I feel like you guys are so open and loving and ready and just so... Uh, you guys love life. You guys are just... Like, the energy you guys bring is, like, larger than life. You guys are so optimistic about life, so happy, so um, generous. I'm, get, I'm definitely getting that sun card, Okay? with your energy with your optimism with your joy you have a have a really nice and uh, i would say almost an innocent childlike joy about life so simply when you guys get into things you love to do some of you guys could have some pisces placements you guys are definitely a dreamer when you guys want something when you guys want to go for something you guys go with go with it with your whole heart a really really big heart okay you guys are really supportive and loving when it comes to other people and their dreams. But when it comes to yours, you don't get the same every time. I'm definitely seeing that. Okay, I'm not only seeing it, but I'm feeling it. Yeah. You guys also got the uh, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I feel like you guys made a firm decision or you guys are making a firm decision um, about who you want around you. Okay, because if people aren't supporting you, yeah, what, what the hell are they there for? If they're blocking you, you know, making things harder for you unnecessarily, then it is time for you guys to cut their asses off. And you do not have to give people closure when you cut them off. Okay, do they give you closure? Do they give you, uh, I would say, clarification or clarity when they're playing games with you, when they're being uh, unsupportive with you? Okay, no, they're not. Sometimes you got to fight that fire with fire, okay? It's definitely within you, all these wands. Yeah, fight fire with fire. Someone always got their hand out uh, when you guys get paid. You know what I'm saying? But when you guys need the help uh, financially or when you guys are like, I can't give it to you, when you guys say no, uh, they want to pull their energy back or pull their support back. Not support you on your next thing because you told their ass no. I don't know why I'm getting that. Every time you guys are winning, you guys are up, you guys are throwing away your money, you know, uh, buying rounds and buying drinks for the whole crew. They're all in your face and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they're your bestie. They're, yeah, yeah, you can do anything you, you know, anything you put your mind to. But as soon as you guys say no, fuck out of here, they, they want to pull them. No, uh uh. Fake ass friends and family. Yeah, it's definitely time for you guys to uh, close out some cycles with people, okay? And definitely make it your final decision. No more going back and forth with it because I feel like some of you guys are feeling kind of guilty. Like, well, what if they look at me a certain way? Well, what if they don't like me anymore? So what? They just ain't going to like you, okay? If they don't like you because you put up a boundary, then they, they, they weren't meant to be there in the first place, okay? Yeah, people will definitely benefit off of you not having boundaries or having a lack of boundaries, okay? Yeah. Don't let anyone fuck up your joy, okay? Yeah. Queen of Wands also, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, your creativity was blocked for sure because of other people. But I'm seeing that, you know, once you cut these people off, you will have some sort uh, or some sense of peace, okay? You will have time to spend with yourself, to uh, get grounded, okay? And dial back into who you are, okay? The essence of who you are without other people's negative ass energy. Because I'm saying, and I'm saying the sunflowers too. So you guys could also uh, be singers. She's holding like she's holding a microphone, okay? 
a singer. It's something you guys do uh, with your energy. You guys are being seen. Or you're you are surrounded by a lot of people. I'm seeing uh, man, manager, managerial positions. Okay, leadership roles. Yeah, you guys could also be a public speaker. Yeah, your creativity was blocked because of some hate and ass unsupportive people. And yeah, it's definitely time for you go to um, you guys. Uh, I see you got you girls. Yeah, so I'm talking to a lot of feminists today. Okay, so yeah, as long as you block those those people out, you should be good. Yeah, good riddance to them. If you feel like this this message didn't resonate, guys, you know what it is what it is. Um, whoever is meant to hear it or grab it, they're gonna grab it, okay? Yeah, it is really late. I'm so tired right now. My son wore me out today. I need to sleep. It's like way past nine o'clock, okay? So yes, yeah, it's gonna be a night. But you guys, thank you so much for watching, for watching with me. And I hope you guys got whatever you had to get from this. And you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Monday. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. So, Pile 2, this is your message. Pile 2, I'm getting water signs. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And also, I'm, I'm getting that... Uh, Libra. I got Libra Leo. Okay, Capricorn. Um, the song that I got for you guys was mm, mm, okay. Yes. Can I get a say mm, that's 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 the name of his song, okay? <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I'm gonna definitely put the uh, name of it. I forgot who's in there. So he has a lot of features in his uh album. So yeah, I don't it doesn't say the person's name. It's not, is, is it, is it Gotti? What's his name? Yeah, I gotta figure out who sings that. Is it, no, it's not Gotti, it's not Gotti. No, it's not Gotti. I don't think it is. Oh, snap, that's too many. I'm gonna get this one that was on my own wrist, okay? So yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of people want your attention, okay? You guys got Jupiter. Yeah, you guys are like the hottest item out there right now. You guys are definitely the hot commodity. I'm seeing a lot of people want um your attention right now, okay? Your attention that maybe you cannot give. So if you guys are um super busy, okay, super focused on a certain thing, I'm seeing that you may need to protect your energy because um, this is definitely a, a lucky time for you guys when it comes to attention, recognition, uh, love, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely getting, uh, I would say, recognized uh, for something. If you guys work for the public, okay, um, you guys are getting recognized for something. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people um, want your time and energy that I feel like you guys cannot afford. Just listening to that song, Can I Get a Taste? Yeah, people, once they get a taste of your energy, they cannot, they can't stay away. But I'm saying for some reason, you guys could have um, something happening in your transit chart. Okay. Uh, maybe some of you guys just broke up. I'm going to show you guys a car just broke up uh, with someone, um, a relationship. You guys got Jupiter, of course. Um, Five of Swords. Four of Wands, and also you have the Page of uh, Cups in Reverse. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that you guys could could be uh you could have lost a friendship, okay, or a relationship. Yeah, but you guys don't you don't you don't have to worry about. It. I don't think you guys have a lot to worry about when it comes to this because um you guys got options. Okay, yeah, yeah, this, this is a relationship. You guys got options. Um, yeah, you may have broken up with that person. I'm saying if you guys are dating, um, yeah, see, look, and the two of cups flipped out. Yeah, if you guys are dating, please don't, don't get stuck on one person. Yeah. Don't get, um, too attached and put all your eggs in one basket. I'm, I'm definitely saying that's plenty of fish in the sea. Okay. I am feel like this could have been with someone, um, that you guys looked at as friends with benefits. I don't know why I'm getting that with this page of uh, Cups in Reverse, people who can't really offer you too much. 
okay they can't offer you shit maybe someone um doesn't want to be uh just friends with you they want to get past the friend zone i'm saying a lot of people are wanting your attention um this could be particularly friends okay maybe a friend fell in love with you or they they revealed oh my gosh i'm feeling like someone revealed uh their feelings for you okay and it kind of ruined the friendship or if you guys were friends with benefits um one of you guys wanted more than the other was willing to give and i feel like you had to cut someone off but um this was definitely um i would say a lesson for someone about their worth on what to accept uh what not to accept maybe not settling for less yeah i feel like you guys are like yeah you know it is what it is it's part of life i don't think you guys are heartbroken over this you guys shouldn't be yeah yeah whatever situation this was whatever relationship or connection you guys just lost um i don't think it was really serious i don't think it was uh it was like a a really heartbroken a heartbreaking thing yeah i don't think you guys are gonna feel um too hurt by this okay you guys got the star in reverse yeah ten of pentacles and the, uh the death I feel like you guys probably ended it because this this whole relationship or connection was probably a distraction. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that for some reason. That was the message of today. Um, I recorded this on a Sunday. I had the Soulful Sunday um, message. And this is exactly what I got was uh, getting rid of distractions, okay? People who distract you. Maybe some of you guys had to cut this connection short because you had to focus on your um, pinnacles, your money. Your stability, okay? Because I did get this with the, you know, the four of wands and this ten of pentacles. Yeah. Maybe uh, dealing with people who aren't going to give you a lot. If this person you guys just got rid of, um, who probably was a friend with benefits, I'm seeing that this was, the, this was the best decision because I feel like this person was probably blocking your... Uh, Blocking your abundance. I don't know why I'm getting out with this uh, Jupiter and the Death card together. Okay, they were definitely um, blocking your abundance. And I feel like in order for you guys to have regained that abundance um, or to gain your stability in some way, yeah, you guys had to end a relationship. Yeah, you guys just know, you intuitive, intuitively knew that this relationship, this connection, this person was blocking your blessings. Okay. Blocking your abundance, okay? Like, cause I'm, you guys aren't you aren't hurt about it. You guys aren't hurt about it. It was the, it was definitely the right decision. I'm feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys are uh, emotionally detached, okay, <laughs> from the situation. You guys are like, I had to do what I had to do, okay. And for some of you guys, um. You felt like you allowed yourself to be uh, maybe uh, distracted, you know, distracted with uh, sweet nothings. Yeah, this definitely was a friends with benefits. I'm getting going back to that song. Can I get a taste? <laughs> yeah, this person wasn't offering you anything real or stable. So you cutting this person off, or some of you guys may need to cut this person off because if you guys are still in a situation um with this person and your finances are blocked or you feel like your finances aren't growing it's because of this person okay they're taking energy from you and not really uh giving giving back to you and if you guys are dating uh, multiple people yes yeah blocking your manifestations okay magician in reverse yeah if you guys are dating people um please make sure they want with you what you want or they are uh, able to give to you um do they have more than just uh the poem or the deed to offer because um sometimes love is not enough and if this person if you guys are looking for a commitment and this person isn't looking for a commitment but they're definitely uh just taking the milk for free okay not trying to buy the cow because they're getting that milk for free yeah you guys cutting this person off would have been the best decision you guys um could have made okay yeah good riddance to that person because I don't know what that was. That was like some fuck ass shit, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely um, the hottest commodity. Make sure people who actually want you are deserving of you, okay? Who have 
more to offer besides their body. So yeah, you guys, um, if that wasn't your message, choose another pile. If not, leave it all together. I hope you guys got whatever you could get from that. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful day or night, whenever you guys are doing this. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, Paul 3. So, Paul 3, the song that I got for you was uh, Psychic. Okay, I'm saying a Pisces. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer vibes. So, I feel like you guys have been questioning your intuition lately. And I'm here to tell you that your intuition is on uh, point. Okay, so whatever you guys are thinking about a certain person, that's exactly what it is. Two things flipped over, okay? And I'm going to take it. Yeah, you guys got Aquarius and Capricorn, okay? So you guys, um, someone around you is playing mind games with you. <laughs> Some of you guys could be Aquarius or a Capricorn, but I feel like someone is playing mind games with you. And whatever you guys think they're doing, um, if this person is doing it on purpose or you feel like this person is playing mind games with you or not being honest with you, um, you guys are absolutely on point. Let's let's see what their little lying ass and why their lying ass goofy ass is playing games. Okay, let's see what it is because... We're all adults. The people are still out here playing little mind games. And I really feel like this person, some of you guys could be dating someone. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Some of you guys are dating someone. And this person isn't being honest about who they are. You guys may be asking them questions about um, who they are, if they're married. Some of them, this person could be married. This person coming to you. I feel like this person approached you. And I feel like this person isn't being um, honest about being married, okay? Whenever I get this Ten of, ten of Cups, I do think of, um, I hope I didn't say Ten of Pentacles, but Ten of Cups, whenever I get it, I think of um, stability, okay? And for a small portion of you, uh, this person is maybe keeping quiet about um, how they truly feel about you. Let's keep pulling because I don't want to get... I hate getting more than one storyline, okay? Yeah, I don't feel like this person may be keeping things uh, to themselves, keeping their emotions to themselves. It's for them, though. So. They're keeping their emotions and how they feel to themselves. Or um, say if you guys ask them a certain question about things, say if you guys ask them if they're married, they'll, uh, like, um, what you want to know for? No, if I was, you know, they're not really answering the question, maybe, uh, beating around the bush with the uh, answers when it comes to the answers whatever you guys are feeling in your heart the reason why you guys are asking the questions is because you guys can intuitively uh intuitively pick up um that this person isn't being honest okay and also listen to that song psychic yeah <laughs> for some of you someone has a ringtone they have a ring ringtone cassie okay a cassie ringtone yeah, I see your cause. I know you can see what I want to do with you. And all them other guys that have been talking about the way I do what I do. They heard I was good. They want to see your face true. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm getting hurt from you guys. I don't know why I'm getting something. I'm seeing that this person could um, tell you that they, uh, <laughs> this person could tell you that they're single, okay? But I feel like when you guys try to reach this person when they're at home at night, they don't never answer the phone, okay? And they probably blame it on work or like, oh, I gotta, if this person is a teacher in particular, okay? A teacher or some sort of public figure, uh, they tell you that they're, they're constantly busy because, um, they're working on their work at home. I don't think it's true. I think some of you guys feel like this person could have another person. I feel like if you're calling this person up, um, if you guys think you're the main person, but you guys are in reality probably the other person or the sneaky link, okay? Whatever you guys are feeling um, is true, okay? Your intuition is correct. You guys are right on the money. And I'm not, I'm barely getting any cards and I keep getting like cards coming out and like clumps, okay? So maybe this person might um, over, uh, I would say, divulge information to you. You know how a person it comes off as feeling guilty. Um, you can always tell when a person is guilty when they over explain things or overly talk about something that's not really in their nature. If they're, if they're not an overly talkative person, because if they're a Capricorn or Aquarius, 
Okay, maybe Aquarius. Aquarius don't really talk as much, but if they're a Capricorn, Capricorns don't really uh, express themselves as much. So if your person, you ask your person a question and they overly express themselves, um, nine out of ten times they're lying. They're trying to make the story sound believable. Okay, I don't know why, but this person could definitely um have a family. Yeah, it was like that. I put like this, guys. But yeah, you guys got the moon card. Yeah, a lot of secrets. This person is, uh, they're hiding a lot. Like I said, for a small amount of you guys, I feel like this person is lying because they're trying to keep a secret um, as far as how they feel about you because they want to move in with you. They don't under, they don't uh, want you to be turned off or they don't want to scare you away by expressing too much of their emotions. But I'm seeing that this person, for a majority of you guys in this pile, pile three, um, yeah. You're definitely the other person. This person that is in a relationship. I'm feeling like, yeah, they're full of shit too. So whatever they're telling you, if they start stuttering and things like that, or overly explaining themselves on a certain question you guys ask, um, use your intuition of, of yours because I feel like you guys, you're psychic, the, the, the song psychic, um, you guys can relate to it. How he, what he say? He says you catch, I don't know how she knows me. Um, she catches me every time. Yeah, this person isn't at work or they aren't at home uh, going over their work because they're busy with that. They're definitely tied to someone else. Okay, they're definitely tied to someone else. Your intuition is on point. Yeah, featuring Jack Harlow, psychic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting this person doesn't really talk. So yeah, there's nothing else to say. I think that's going to be it. Anything else for Power 3? And I know this is kind of short, Power 3, but um, it is very late. It is very late at night, okay? And I got to prep my baby for school. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and I'm also seeing whenever you guys ask this person a certain question, um, and they will, re re they will respond. And if you guys um, didn't accept the response, they would like get upset with you, maybe yell at you, um, and then pull their energy back, okay? And they might even ghost you a little bit. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, yeah. They're like, um, I don't want to talk about it anymore. They've completely shut the situation down. Or shut the uh, conversation down. Yeah, that's that's how you know they're lying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this person. Yeah, there's nothing else to say about this person. So yeah, that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you guys got whatever you can get out of this. Um, if not, it is what it is. Just leave it all together. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.